I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports Now on this Thursday, March the 26th. Alex Rodriguez proving people wrong. That has been the theme here of New York Yankees camp. A-Rod has been one of the biggest stories in Yankees camp. When it started, the paparazzi following him around, everyone every move A-Rod made, wanting to know what was happening, how is he going to do, is he going to flame out, and so many predictions came down about Alex Rodriguez and how the Yankees should cut him, he's not worth the trouble, he's not worth the headache, he's going to be awful anyway, 40 years old, two hip surgeries, missed a full year last year due to a suspension for PED use, you know the story of Alex Rodriguez, but if you've watched him this spring and you've seen how he's gone about his business and you've seen how he's hit at the plate, played you know productively enough in the field the the bottom line here with Alex Rodriguez is he is still a productive major league player still looks like a productive major league player we'll now see when the season begins how he does in the regular season but so far so good and so far the haters the doubters of Alex Rodriguez have been very quiet here in spring training hitting 290 with an OPS over 900 almost as many walks as strikeouts yesterday Brian Cashman told MLB.com that Alex Rodriguez has shown enough to be trusted as an everyday type of designated hitter. Not a guy that plays once or twice a week, but someone you could now slot into the Yankees lineup, into the six or seven hole, and project the Yankees lineup now once again with Alex Rodriguez. And it's amazing to watch because, you know, there was so much around this spring training about A-Rod, and in a couple ways, he has been a blessing for the Yankees. Number one, he could still play. I mean, it's pretty obvious here, and I've said this the entire time. The last time we saw Alex Rodriguez on the field was 2013 when he came back in August off of hip surgery. And his OPS then was higher than any Yankee OPS in 2014 from a regular player. So the last time we saw A-Rod on the field, he hit well enough. Is he the old A-Rod or the young A-Rod, I should say? Is he the three-time American League MVP? Absolutely not. He'll never be that again. Not at this stage of his career. Athletically, he's nowhere what he used to be. And just from a physical standpoint, he can't be that anymore. But can he still be a productive player? I saw it in 2013. And until I watch A-Rod on the field struggle, until I watch A-Rod on the field not be at least an adequate player, I will believe he can be and will be. He's been that so far in spring training. I, I believe it's going to continue into the regular season. The other thing Alex Rodriguez has done here, and it's pretty remarkable because, you know, he's a distraction that people didn't want. A distraction the Yankees fans said is going to ruin the team. It's going to hover over the team. Well, the, all the attention on A-Rod has taken some of the attention off of the other big question marks the Yankees have, and they have a ton of them. I mean, the Yankees came into spring training here maybe with more you know, roster volatility than any team in baseball. They have the biggest margin of any team I'd look at heading into the 2015 season in terms of if it all goes right compared to if it all goes wrong. You know, look at some teams who say, well, this, this, and this, they could be an 85-win team or they could dip to 75. I look at the Yankees and I see a team that if it all goes right with the talent they have, they have enough talent, folks, to win the American League East and get back to the postseason. But they also have enough question marks, A-Rod being one of them, but also Masahiro Tanaka's elbow, Michael Pineda trying to pitch a full season, Cesar Zabathia's knee and weight and ability to be at least an adequate starting pitcher now after so many years of being an ace. You know, health for Mark Teixeira, health for Carlos Beltran, trying to break in Didi Gregorius. So A-Rod had some wonderful things to say about his ability as a defensive shortstop. I mean, Derek Jeter's replacement is playing shortstop now, and no one is talking about it because everyone has paid attention to A-Rod. So doubt him all you want, hate him all you want, but the bottom line is, throughout the entire spring training here, with opening day less than two weeks away, A-Rod has been nothing but a positive force for the Yankees. He has shown he can be trusted, like Brian Cashman said, to be a player they take north and pencil in to their everyday lineup, over 900 with the OPS, and the distraction that is him, just the beacon that is him, that crowds the media around him, has taken some of the pressure off of some of the other players in camp that otherwise, especially when it comes to Gregorius replacing Jeter, would be dealing with a ton of questions. As spring training comes to a rapid close, Alex Rodriguez is definitely a member of the 2015 Yankees, and so far, so good in proving those doubters wrong. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports.